types of research. There are two types of research in terms of the nature and purpose of the study, namely basic or fundamental research and applied research. On the one hand, basic research is a type of research that investigates the basic reasons and principle behind the occurrence of a particular phenomenon or event. Basic research is also referred to as theoretical research. As a theoretical research, basic research therefore is driven by pure curiosity and the desire to expand one's knowledge on a specific subject matter or discipline. Hence, as we can see, basic research may not necessarily lead to an immediate use or application. An example of basic research is an investigation that looks at the factors that trigger depression. Although this type of research does not directly address real-world issues or problems, basic research is equally important as it enhances our understanding of the world around us. This is because basic research provides us with a systematic and deep insight into a problem that can have practical significance to our life and the society as a whole. Scholars further divide basic research into pure and strategic types of research. Pure research is conducted without any specific outcome in mind other than the advancement of knowledge while strategic research is conducted with the intention of providing a broad base of knowledge which may help in addressing a specific problem. Applied research, on the other hand, is a type of research that aims at finding solutions to pressing problems that society, organizations, and the like are facing by employing well-known theories and principles. Sometimes, applied research is conducted to determine the possible uses or applications of the findings of basic research. An example of an applied research is a study that attempts to determine the impact of mining on the socio-economic life of the indigenous peoples. Now, basic and applied research are further divided into three types of research in terms of methods, namely, quantitative research, qualitative research, and mixed research method. Quantitative research method is a systematic investigation of observable phenomena through a computational, mathematical, and most especially, statistical technique. Hence, in quantitative research method, the researcher analyzes the data with the help of statistics and hopes that the figures will produce logical and unbiased results. Now, in terms of purpose, quantitative research method aims to develop mathematical models, hypotheses, and theories that pertain to the quantifiable phenomena under investigation. As we can see, quantitative research method is numerical in nature and employs statistics and mathematics in the interpretation of data. This explains why results in the quantitative research method are presented in tables and graphs. As a matter of fact, research papers that employ a quantitative research method are replete with tables and graphs. As is well known, Quantitative research method is widely employed in the social sciences, such as sociology, psychology, gender studies, development studies, economics, community health, demography, and political science. Researchers in education also employ quantitative research method, although other educational research themes can be conducted using a qualitative research method. Now let's discuss the qualitative research method. Qualitative research method is a type of research that does not require a sophisticated statistical treatment. 
Defined more broadly, qualitative research method is a scientific investigation of non-quantifiable phenomena, such as experiences, with the intention of understanding a particular phenomenon through a holistic description and exploration of the meaning, nature, and dynamics of the said phenomenon or situation. This explains why qualitative research is the best method when it comes to researching about the why and how questions of human experience. A concrete example of a qualitative research is a study that attempts to determine the lived experiences of senior high school teachers who were asked to teach subjects that are not aligned with their field of specialization. For instance, in the Philippine educational system, many humanities graduate teachers in the senior high school were asked to teach science subjects. Needless to say, these teachers have been experiencing problems in terms of mastery and content delivery. Thus, one of the best ways to help these teachers deliver a quality instruction is to know their lived experiences, particularly their difficulties and challenges. This is because once we know the difficulties and challenges that these teachers have been experiencing, we can easily offer some practicable alternatives that may help address the problem. As we can see, a qualitative research method is non-numerical, descriptive, exploratory, and narrative in nature. It investigates the why and how questions of human experience and attempts to understand holistically a particular phenomenon or situation. And in terms of purpose, a qualitative research method primarily aims to know the meaning, nature, and dynamics of a particular phenomenon or situation under investigation. Lastly, we have the mixed research method. The mixed research method, as the name suggests, involves a systematic integration or combination of both quantitative and qualitative research methods in the investigation of a particular phenomenon, event, or situation. The fundamental premise of this method or type of research is that the integration or combination of both the quantitative and qualitative methods or types of research will result in a holistic and more meaningful interpretation of data. In most cases, the qualitative aspect of this type of research supports the findings and conclusion arrived at the quantitative interpretation of data. But of course, on the other hand, the quantitative aspect may also support the findings and conclusion arrived at in the qualitative interpretation of data. Mixed method originates in the social sciences but it has been expanded recently into the medical and allied health sciences, such as nursing, social work, community health, mental health, pharmacy, and alternative medicine. As we can see, mixed method may involve analyzing both numerical and non-numerical data. It may also present results in tables and graphs backed up by a strong narrative. Mixed method can also be exploratory and conclusive at the same time.